everybody and welcome from around the bend i'm your guy and today um we are live going through some pokemon cards that we found in an old binder there are definitely some gems um and i just can't wait to get through them with you all um if you would like to see these and get your input and everything else like that definitely always catch the live um so that way you also get to see the cards first hand um but enjoy this uh and and i hope to see you in the next live all right so let's see what's in this binder all right we are opening it up oh we are opening it up and let's take a look we're just gonna do all this all right so we got a machop here a machoke a machamp are y'all seeing this are y'all seeing this a slate ghastly haunter gengar Weedle, Kakuna, and Beedro. So, this the Machamp, actually. The Machamp is actually a holographic. Let's open this up. It is not in the best condition to be a 100. Oh, this is probably bad. Uh, this is a good This is a good test run for my pack openings, you know what I'm saying? All right, but if we look at it, um, there's this stuff in the, in the top right. Um, and there's a little wear on the bottom. But... If we look at the back, the centering is pretty good. The centering is pretty good. Obviously, not a PSA 10, but it is first edition. What? <laughs> oh, this is great. I actually haven't looked at this binder, um, and I was waiting to do this with you guys. So this is really fun. Um, B drill. There's no holographic here. Nice little set. Look at, look at how nice this is. It's all in, in, in little evolutions. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I'm seeing some numbers. If we get it graded, it could be worth six to 800, which is beautiful. Um, we see 56, $100 there. So now let's take a look on this side. What we got? Ooh, we got a Nidal Queen. We got a Nidorina, Nidoran. Oh, this is great artwork. Look at the Nidoran, Nidorino. Little Oddish. Ooh, that glares. Claire's ugly. There you go. Gloom Vile Plume. So here's our other hollow. Knit a queen. That's beautiful. This is in much better condition than our last card, which is pretty sweet. This is nice. We have a little wear on the top right corner, but this is pretty fancy. Just a little pop right there on the bottom, but that's okay. A little wear on the top. Definitely some wear on the back side. So Again, these are old cards, so we're not expecting any PSA 10s here, but pretty good condition considering like these cards are like from 2000. Oh, Jungle Pack. Awesome. Thank you. But yeah, you know, I I'm starting to learn. Can't wait to get these packs open as well as I'll see them in the background. Uh, shout out to Lee for getting one himself. <laughs> so this is a Queen's a nice little hollow. This is a little fun card as well. So that's great. So let's get to the second book. Oh, actually, let's, let's save this page because we're already seeing Blastoise and Charizard. Let's save that. Um, but let's check out what else we have. So here we got our Geodude, a Graveler, a Golem. Golem from the Fossil Pack. Graveler as well. And Geodude, all three from the, Grassle uh, from the Fossil Pack if I'm correct on that. Then we have Caterpie, Metapod, and a Butterfree, Jungle Pack Butterfree, shout out. Kadabra's here, and Abra's here as well. We have Bellsprout here, and Weeping Bell from the Jungle Pack. We got Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath Hollow. So that's fun, we're gonna take a look at that one. And then we also have the Dratini, we have the Dragonair, and we have the Dragon Knight. So the, the Dragonair is from the base set two pack, but it is not like, um, there's no first edition stamp. So here is Polyrath. That's exciting. Nice little twinkle. This is in better condition than the other cards, to be honest. Yeah, this binder be holding up. There's some like spots here on the side that would definitely knock it out. This card in itself is just 10 bucks though. Which is not too bad. It's not too bad. And then look at this Dragonite though. Look at this Dragonite though. Oh, we got a, we got a oh wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a few Dragonites. We got a few Dragonites, chat! 
Wait, 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 wait. So clearly, this one, that's not gonna give us a lot. That's totally fine. But it is super dope. Looks cartoony. I don't typically see these around. So that's that's a fire card though. Um, better condition probably would be worth more. But I love this. I love this a lot. All right. Let's see what else we got. Yo, but look at this. Look at this. What is this? $60 ish if it wasn't graded. Yeah. If it was first edition, it'd be a lot. No, I know. My um my eyes keep looking for this stamp and see if we can find it. Alright, so let's put this here. Alrighty. Our next card we got here is this regular Dragonite from the Fossil Pack. It is not a hollow, but this is still pretty clean. Still pretty clean. I like that. Okay, let's go through this next page. Oh, this is this is exciting. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got. We have Pidgey, uh, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. That's clean artwork. I really, really love how those wings look. We got a trainer card, Kabuto, Kabutops. We have a first edition Fossil Pack card though. So let's open that up and see what we think. Same thing with the Omni Knight first edition packs, um, fossil pack. So let's look at these conditions. If you all, oh, let's look at this page too, just cause we're gonna see this anyway. Um, we have Ponytail, we have Growlithe, we have Krabby, we have Rapidash, Arcanine, Kingler, Ekans, an Arbok, and a an Tangela. Tangela. But let's go back. Look at this. Okay, so clearly it is first edition Kabuto. So let's pull this up. First edition Kabuto. Not a hollow, but still first edition. So this is this is pretty cool. The obviously the sides here. We want like, you know, these are old cards, y'all. I can't you can't be mad at, you can't be mad at that. <laughs> but the sides here could be a little bit better, but this is still first edition, which is pretty nice. All right, let's look at this on the night, huh? Another first first edition. So we have Omni Knight here, first edition fossil pack as well. Looking pretty clean, better kept than the Kabuto, actually. Looking at the back as well. A little wear on this side here, but other than that, pretty good too. Let's see what we got next. Alrighty. Stardew, Sandshrew, Horsey, Starmie, Sandslash, Seedra, Ratatot, Raticate, Porygon, Execute, Coughing, Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn from the Base Set 2 pack, Executor, Weezing, Rhydon, Little Jungle Pack as well. Yo, this artwork's clean. He looks like he's ready about to eat somebody. Spiro, Thero, and Jinx. So these cards are, are are normal. I don't think we have any like clear winners here. You know what I mean? But they are still pretty clean. Alrighty. We got we got your Paris Paris, Meowth, Goldeen. We got the Parasect, the Persian, the Sea King, the Dodo, the Dodrio, and the Onyx. Yo. Sewing pairs. <laughs> Shout out to the sewing pairs. Dodo and Onyx. <laughs> we got your Slowpoke, your Psyduck, your Tentacool, your Slowbro, um, your Golduck, your Tentacruel, your Zubat, your Golbat, and your Magmar. So none of these are hollow. None of these are hollow, but they still look clean. I think my favorite card out of this whole set um, is that Magmar that is looking Fire, fire. <laughs> but yeah, this is this page. Paris height, Paris height. Yeah, there they are. Okay, let's check this out. We got Mankey, Cubone, Shelter, Primate with the beautiful art. So angry. <laughs> Marowak, Cloyster. We got the Moltres, the Zapdos, and the Articuno. We're gonna pull that out and look at those in a second. Um, Magnemite, Voltorb, and Diglett. I wish this Voltorb had a stamp. That's the art that's been going on. 
Here we got some power with the Magneton Hollow. So we'll look at that closely. Electro, Duck Trio, Clefable, and a Chansey Hollow as well. So we have some art to look at, y'all. Let's play around with this. Let's look at this Moltres. And that's, that's a beautiful Moltres. Look at it. I love the wings. I love the artwork. Little fire spin in the background as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Again, not a hollow, but it's still a great card, though. I mean, like, you know, legendary card? Like, like can we get some legendary hype? That's dope. And then this, it says promo in the corner. So I don't know if that's worth much or is this from, like, a movie that we, like, that, like, this happens? Like, I honestly forget. Um, this is in better condition as well, too, you know. We got to give importance to the to the legendary. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, little tipped over here on the side, but other than that, this card is really good condition. But yeah, this card is sick. Um, when thinking, when thinking about these two cards, I really, really like this Moltres on the right, right here. We have our Zapdos here, that's what we saw. We have some smudging in the top right here, but you know, old cards. You gotta give it to them. The artwork is sick once again. And nice little electric and all that stuff. Thunderstorm, powerful move on it. We know this card uh, value does go down because of this top. So we go from there. All right, but this is another promo card. Zapdos, Zapdos, look at the bird squawk. <laughs> but yeah, yo, these promo art though. Oh, this promo art though, once again, Killing the game, killing the game. So Articuno would have been my favorite. It's so funny because it's, it's it's a water type. And I wonder if the ice types ever got their own cards. I don't remember. Um, do you have Charizard? There's Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur in this binder. But we're gonna save that to the end so that way we can see where's the big money at because we know it's with those three cards. And then here is the promo Articuno. Once again, the promo movie doing so well. So Articuno here, promo here. That's awesome. Let's look at this bad baby. All right. So this Magneton right here is absolutely beautiful. Is this been around the only Pokemon cards? It's around the collection. I like that. I like that name shout out to Mars. Um, but look at this art, yo. Look at this art. Look at this Magneton. Um, this is really clean. Um, we only have like this like one little spot on the right hand side. A little spot on the top right here. Like, oh, and there's there's some scratches on the hollow part. Like there's this like line right there. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not, it's not too bad. Maybe PSA 7, who knows? But yeah, we have a little smear on this side right there though. But the centering is amazing on this card. Like literally nothing too much to the left, nothing too much to the right. And then we have this card, look at that. And so here is the Chansey. Much better condition than Magneton. The hollow wing looks amazing. Um, we look here and we see, what do we see chat? What do we see? Some little dust on the side, but nothing. Oh look, 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 I scratched it off. I scratched it off. A little bit smudging on the Chansey itself. Other than that though, this is like pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's check out the back. A little wear on the top, a little ding on the top and a little ding on the bottom, but overall nice card. Once again, the centering on these cards is top notch. I know that's like one of those big things that people really want to look at. So I love that. I love that. Let's take a look. We got Eevee, Jolteon, Seal. That's where Flareon would be. Vaporeon, Dugong, Magmar once again, Farfetch, and Tauros. Yo, Tauros looks so dope. I love that. Then we got the Pikachu. And is this Pikachu worth a lot? Is this Pikachu worth a lot? I'm not sure. We got the Raichu. We got the Hitmonlee here. We got another Pikachu, the, ch the big chunky boy. We got another Raichu again. Hitmonchan Hollow, so we'll take a look at that. 
Man Key Team Rocket, Dark Primate. Look at this art, y'all. That is beautiful. And then we got a lick a tongue right there. Yo, this primate art is sick. Look at this Hitmonchan. This is clean. And I know I've said that about a lot of them, but this is, look at this. All right, so we know the top obviously has spotty and stuff like that, but other than that, if we look around the cards, this is pretty good. Let's flip it. And there's somewhere on the top of the cards, which is, again, these are old, so we expect that, especially that top left corner um, and that top, that bottom left corner. But overall, great card. I love this. Hitmonchan gets me, gets me hype. Hitmonchan is such a great mon to have. It gets elemental punches. I love it. Fire punch, thunder punch, ice punch. Yo, you wasn't messing with me. I had that and I had, um, I used to love running Hitmonchan on my team. And what is up, Oliver? How you guys doing? How are you? What is good, Freaky B? How you doing? I love Dark Primate. All right, let's take a let's, let's take a look at Dark Primate. Let's take a look at Dark Primate. Shout out to Lee. There we go. Here's Dark Primate. Yeah, this art is sick. He just looks like he just got out of a fight. <laughs> He's just like ready to just like beat up on people. Like what? Like this is definitely like you buy this card just so that way you can look at this art and just keep this in your collection. So this is pretty dope, pretty dope. Top left, top right, nice. There we go. That is a good looking primate, if I were to say so myself. Dark punch, frenzied attack is what they call it. Okay, so this 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 side is gonna be a little fun because there's a lot more hollows on this side. So let's take a look. We got Jigglypuff, we got Coughing, we got Drowsy, a hollow Wigglytuff, a hollow dark wheezing, a hypno, a mew, a mewtwo, a Mr. Mime. We have a Scyther. We have a hollow Yanma. We have a Pinsir. We have a hollow Kangaskhan, a Ditto, a Japanese Machamp, a Magby. We're gonna throw it in there with an Entei and an upside down hollow dark Gyarados. So we can't we can't get a lot for this just because especially this is the top part, but we can definitely just love on the art. We can love on the art. I'm sure somebody would probably pick this up for like two bucks or something. So that's totally okay. But here it is, here it is. Really tough, yeah, his back is looking kind of crazy too, but still a hollow wiggly tough from years ago. There is, here is dark wheezing. Here is dark wheezing. There is somewhere on the top left corner there. We can see that, boop, right over there. But other than that, oh, this card's beautiful. Oh, this car is like really beautiful. These Team Rocket Hollows, though, I just feel like they should have, they have to go for money. They have to go for money. Cause look, 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 look. Censoring is a whole big thing. Censoring is not an issue on this either. Maybe a little bit to the right, but like I can't even tell with my eyes. If it's not for the wear on the top, this could easily be a high PSA 10. I love that. Here is the Mew. Little, little promo, little promo card, little Mew Mew, little Mew Mew. Gotta love the Mew Mew. Here is Mewtwo. You see the whole WB Kids stamp on the top right there. It looks like he's ready to give the hands to people. He got the psychic glowing in the back. And then this other one is, I don't even know how to describe this. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. This is just like, what? Are these like the, the Pokeballs from the movie? Is this just like, Psychic is just going ham. He looks like he's going Super Saiyan. The gray is like lightning and whatnot. No, this is sick. I, I like this card a lot. This is a clean card. We finally got ourselves a clean card. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, nothing on the sides. 
at all. Like, look at this. This is, this is, this is it. This is, this is one of them. And then if we look at the back, let's check this out. All right, there's a little weird on the top left, like a little bitty bit. But chat, we got something. We got something. I like this a lot. I like this card a lot. Look at this. It's probably not going to go for much because it's a Yenma. Like, it's a Yenma. But still, this is probably our best condition hollow that we've seen so far. Okay. Kangaskhan's in the building. Little top left, top right. That's fine. But here we go. Another hollow that is happening. A little spot on the bottom here. I feel like we can just, just do this. Nope, it doesn't go nowhere. That's fine. A little scratches here and there, but Kangaskhan is still a mean one to mess with. This is a card, little wears and tears on the side, but alas, still holding up pretty well after all these years. Pretty good, pretty good. But this Entei Reverse Hollow, it is wrinkled up a bit, so we can't really get much with it. It's a promo card as well again too, but this is just so sick. This is just so nice to look at. All right, this Dark Gyarados is here, chat. It says pre-release. Does that mean anything? If it says pre-release in the corner, please let me know. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this card a lot. We ran into a lot of these things. Uh, wear on the top, um, little bent, little ding on the bottom right. But the card itself is pretty good. I just don't know what that pre-release means. Um, but back, we got a little ding up top there as well, too. And on the bottom left, we see some wear for tear. But nonetheless, still a great card. Something if you're looking to add into your collection. Like, this is this is sick. It's a Dark Gyarados. We got Vulpix, Grimer, Venonat, Wigglytuff. Once again, oh no, that's from the other side. <laughs> Muck, Venomoth, Gyarados. Then we got another Mysterious Fossil, Eevee. Dark Vaporeon, that's a hollow Aerodactyl. Dark Flareon, Japanese Machamp, Slowpoke, Dark Slowbro, and a Murkrow as well. All right, so we got a hollow Muck coming up. This is a little beat up, but it's a hollow nonetheless, so we gotta give it a respect. I think we would get like a PSA 3. <laughs> But it's still nice. Um, still looking the hollow. Love the shine, once, especially off the light. And look at the Venomoth, y'all. Once again, we are a little bent here, so that will uh, take the price down a bit. Dinged up on the bottom corners. So, again, pretty art to look at um, for this Venomoth, but I don't think that it's going to go... I don't think it's going to go far. But this is just sick. Look at that. Look at that. Hitting my man with a hydro pump. But he's got to love it. He's just going to love it. Okay. So that's there. Look at the Aerodactyl. He looked like he about to grub. <laughs> Mouth wide open. That's so funny. Mouth wide open. This is pretty nice though. I feel like you can get something for this. A little 10, 20 bucks here or there. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, it is slightly bent though. Um, if you look at that, it's not laying flat, so probably just need to take like a book or something to flatten this card out. But other than that, we see our usual corner stuff, but it's a clean card. So we have super energy removal, hop it, unknown, trainer card, trainer card, energy, 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 energy. We got the Lapras. Dark Rapidash, let's pause. Dark Rapidash, fire, fire. And then we got this Ancient Mew promo card that I think Lee has, but um, it's funny because I don't know how much you can get for that. Ooh, baby, oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Sprout Tower, Professor Oak, Ursaring, Drowsy, Trainer Card, Misty Cedra. that is a hollow, Mareep, Snorlax Hollow, Dark Golbat Hollow. Now, baby. And then we have these deck of cards. So let's just go through these deck of cards really quickly. They're not in their sleeves. So I don't know if we'll find anything that's pretty good. All right, let's just go through these quickly. We got Coughing, 
We got Pidgey, Diglett, Trainer Card, Vulpix, Magikarp, Tundula, Switch, Diglett, Diglett, Ponyta, Beedrill, Energy, Charmeleon Japanese though, Magikarp, Electabuzz, Polybag, Charizard Hollow. So I'm not sure if this will go for something. I don't know what card this is. So if y'all let me know, look at this Charizard. You love Charizards. There's something on the back though, so on the top. There's the Dark Jolteon that was being asked for. There it is, there it is. Look at that sick art, that's beautiful. The lightning in the background, hitting that little red right over there. Sick. Nine Tails. Nine Tails is ready. Geodude, Onyx, Nidorina, and a ooh, Squirtle, Team Rocket Squirtle, Psyduck, and Coughing. Okay. So there's our fun. Let's put these back in here. Check out this bad baby. There's the Snorlax. Look at that guy go. Look at that guy go. Big old boy. A little stuff up top right here. But other than that, like, this is nice. This is nice. Let's look, take a look at the back of it. All right, we got some wear and tear in the corners, but a little hollow, nothing to deal with. We have a little spotting on the card as well, too. But this, this is nice. This is the Dark Gold Bat Chat. Look at it. Oh, it is so beautiful. Another hollow coming at you. Probably will probably rake in like 10, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Uh, but it's really nice. I love this. Golbat looks so sick. He doesn't get a lot of love because Zubat is so annoying, but these, these are cool. These are cool. Look at the, the bottom right, bottom left, and all that fun stuff. Look at this. So great. But here is Misty Seizure. Another hollow says pre-release in the corner. There's a little Misty in the top, bottom right corner as well. Check her out. That Seizure looking fancy. <laughs> I've never seen it with like the little fins down. Instead of like out like that. So that's pretty cool. It's not showing his belly. It's like, nah, don't mess with me. Okay. This is what you've been waiting for. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, no Venusaur. But we have the Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Holographic, Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise, Holographic as well. So... We already know what cards y'all want to see. So let's pull it out. This War Turtle is also hiding a Dark War Turtle in the back, which is like pretty sick. Um, we can put that back. Just wanted you guys to see that. All right, let's get this Blastoise out of here. Let's get this Charizard out of here. Oh, and a Dark Charizard as well. Okay. Oop! And a Dark Blastoise. These what? Okay. There's so many! <laughs> I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do. There's so many. Okay. So here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Let's look at the Charizard just because I like Blastoise more. So we'll leave the Blastoise for last. There's the Dark Charizard chat, Team Rocket edition, as you know. No first edition stamp here, but nonetheless, beautiful card. Um, as you can see, there's still some like uh, pieces going on here that's missing from the top, uh, the little spotty here. But other than that, once again, very, very good condition, thinking about how old these cards are. Um, and then we got the back, the centering is all on point. Nothing too to the top, to the bottom. We hold it back, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good from what I can see as well. That was a sassy dark war turtle? Absolutely. <laughs> now let's take a look at the dark blastoise. My boy! The blastoise is right here. Check out this art. Crazy. It's like the water is surging from underneath him. Um, and so there they are. There's no spots. There's little spots on the top right here. 
But other than that, that's okay. Then we're looking. We see bottom left. We're chilling. You turn this bad boy around. A little wear on the side, but this dark, a little wear in the little top left corner. But this Blastoise is clean, though. Bruh, is that first edition hollow or it is not a first edition hollow? If it was a first edition hollow, when I tell you this is money, this is money. Here is a Charizard. Not first edition, but it is still a Charizard holographic from the original, like kind of like set, like base set two. Look at that print, still a hollow. Still have, it's a little wear on the top right here, but because of how much Charizard goes for, this is still a very, very expensive card. Um, if we look at the back, um, we're taking a look at the light. We do see a little spotting right there. Um, but other than that, clean card, wear on the bottom right corner, bottom left, but you can easily, solidly get like a good amount of money for this. And then here is the Blastoise. Once again from the 2000 set, base set two. Blastoise is clean. Once again, this is in better condition than the Charizard. Just a little bit of stuff right there on the top right, right there. But still a good card overall. Let's flip it to the back, see what we got. Little wear on the top right there, but that's fine. Like, and if we like quickly do like the light scan, this car's looking good. This car's looking good. We have it on the bottom right, but that's nothing. That's really nothing. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. These two mons definitely will take the cake. Um, we definitely saw some fire pulls in here, some fire cards. We definitely know that they're kind of older. We definitely know that they're older, but at the same time, great condition for where they are at and where they've been. Um, so what is your favorite card? What's your favorite card so far, y'all? What is your favorite card that you like seeing? The Machamp was really fun to look at. Um, what else was really fun? The Nidoking King Hollow was really cool. The Charizard Hollow was obviously amazing. Everyone loves the Charizard Hollow. Blastoise Hollow is my favorite. Then we got the Dragon Knight. Uh, not this one. This Dragon Knight, this Dark Dragon Knight Hollow, I'm gonna put this on the top. This Dragon Knight Hollow could go for some money as well. So there's 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 money in these cards. So Dark Dragon Knight can go for some money. The Charizard can, the Blastoise can, the Machamp can as well. Um, the Polygraph is all right, but this Kadabra because it was banned before, so we don't know how much this actually is worth. This Kadabra right here. Um, so that could be a fun card to like look into. The Dark Primate was sick. I like that a lot. Um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? We're, we're skipping through. We're skipping through. Let's see, what else? What else did we like? All right. Magneton was actually a fun pull to look at, as well as the Chansey. So that was fun. There we go. The Dark Primate hanging out in Namek. There it is. There it is. Hitmonchan is sick. What else? Yo, that Dark Garros was a was a fun one. The Dark Weezing was seriously was so clean. Love the Kangaskhan as well. The Yanma is literally in like perfect condition. And then the Dark Flareon, the Dark Vaporeon was great. The Gyarados was great. And then when we pulled back here, we saw Missy, Sidra, and the Dark Gold Bat. Yeah, y'all. This was uh, definitely a great time. Love these two cards. I'm going to show them off one more time. We're going to take a look at the Charizard one more time. And the Blastoise. There we go. Just one more good look at the Blastoise, at the Charizard. Just look, look at these guys. Look at the bros. Look at the bros. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is around the end. 
<laughs> we went through the collection. We went through. We went around the collection. Uh, saw what was in here. We saw pretty much the Gen 1 box. A lot of good ones. If you notice any cards that are really, really great, and you're just like, oh snap, I remember that, please let me know. Leave a comment. Do everything else like that. So thank you all so much for hanging out um, and going through these cards with me. Definitely love that. Definitely helped me know how much they're also worth as well, too. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I sure did. I cannot believe the gems that we found. I cannot believe that Blastoise, that Charizard, and everything else. Make sure you, again, once again, leave a comment below. What was your favorite card? What was your favorite pull? <laughs> hit that like button. Hit that sub button. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace!